हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम फॉर टुडे सेशन इन लास्ट सेशन इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द मीनिंग ऑफ मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी एंड द कंपोनेंट ऑफ मेजर ऑफ मनी स्टॉक जनरली द मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी इज यूज्ड टू कंट्रोल द मनी सप्लाई इन द मार्केट फर्दर द गवर एम ऑफ गवर्नमेंट is to control the inflation and deflation situation by controlling the money supply the economic growth the gdp etc so uh, for various reason the monetary policy is used and we were we were discussing the general credit control tools or quantitative tools in monetary policy instrument so have a quick revision on the first bank rate policy that we have discussed in last session the bank rate is a rate at which the rbi that is the central bank of any country provide finance to other commercial bank the other commercial bank add margin and then provide the finance to the uh, retail investors so at a time of inflation where the money supply is more as compared to demand the aim of government rbi is to control the money supply and hence to control the money money supply at a time of inflation rbi increase the bank rate with the increase in bank rate all the commercial bank also have to increase their various loan rates due to this the old type of loan becomes costlier and people may postpone to purchase loan further at the same times the deposit rates are also been increased and with the increase in deposit rates the deposit becomes more attractive and people may put their excess money their extra money in the form of deposits with the bank so from both the way from supply uh, for in market the from both the end government restrict the supply of money in market and by this way over a period of time the supply in money in market becomes regular and the excess money will come with the government so the inflation situation becomes normal in case of deflation that is the time period when prices are decreasing the prices are decreasing due to the scarcity of money the shortage of money in the market so at a time of deflation the government do the exact reverse what they have done in inflation in inflation rbi increases bank rate while at a time of deflation rbi decreases the bank rate as the rbi decreases the bank rate the commercial bank also decreases their bank rate say for example previously the rbi provide finance to commercial bank at 10% and commercial bank then lending this money to retail customers at 11% so earning 1% of margin now there is a deflation in market there is a slow down in market and shortage of money in market so rbi decreases the bank rate now from 10% the Uh, RBI has decreased the bank rate to nine percent. Now bank has scope to reduce their loan rates also. So with the decrease in bank rate, uh, uh, <coughs> commercial bank also decreases their loan rates. With the decrease in loan rates, the loans become cheaper, and people may ready to get uh, loan from the market as loan becomes cheaper. as people take finance from the bank the money supply in market increases at the same time the deposit rates are also decreased with the decrease in deposit rate all the deposit becomes disattractive they are no more attractive for the investment purpose and hence people may take out their money from fixed deposit or people do not put their excess money their extra money in the form of deposits as deposits now earning lesser amount of interest and hence the amount do not go with the bank but the amount remains with the people as <clears throat> there is shortage or there is less liquidity in the market 
so rbi uses the bank rate to control the inflation and deflation in this way the next is open market operation the open market operation is a direct step of rbi whereas the bank rate policy is not the direct step it is indirect step as uh, it is generally conducted through the commercial bank while in open market operation it is a direct step wherein the rbi directly involved in money control in market <clears throat> so at a type at a time of inflation rbi generally issues the government companies bond in india very well famous such type of bond are oil companies bond many of time the rbi has issued oil companies bond to raise finance from the market so at the time of inflation rbi issues such psu public sector organization public sector undertaking companies bond generally people want to invest in such bonds as they are very safe for the purpose of investment as well as they are giving a good amount of return so safety and return both are provided in such type of bonds and hence people are attracted to invest in such uh, bonds as people invest their extra money excess money in such bond all the money goes to the rbi and people has less liquidity in their hand and hence they may able to use less amount of money the aim of rbi is to take away excess money from the market so at a time of inflation rbi issues public sector units bond in market and people invest their extra money in this bond at a time of deflation where there is a scarcity or there is a shortage of money supply in market rbi buy back the bond public sector companies bond which were issued earlier the rbi buy backs from the people the people who have invested already in bond now rbi ask them to return those bonds and in exchange rbi will provide the uh, the face value of the bond plus interest that is occurred till date for example for 60 days for 90 days 180 days for whatever time period the interest is occurred rbi provide that interest as well as the face value that people have invested so <clears throat> at a time of deflation rbi buy backs the bond that were issued earlier with this the people have the liquidity with them people have the money with them to use in market so uh, in open market operation at a time of inflation rbi issues the bond and at a type of a time of deflation rbi buy backs the bond which were issued earlier and doing so rbi control the money supply in the market so that is all about today's session have a nice day goodbye